My biggest therapy is Mother Nature. When I walk through the woods, I'm seeing a little bit more than just a tree and just a plant. I see what I can do with it. I make uh, medicines and salves from uh, plants and trees. In uh, 2014, I uh, suffered with a heart attack. Since uh, I had my heart attack, uh, obviously there were some uh, Western uh, medications involved. And on top of the Western medication, I have found myself uh, nature-wise and medicines provided by Mother Nature has uh, helped me a lot. With nature, I have burned sage and sweet grass. I find that that cleanses the air and you know helps you cleanse your body. It also helps me talk to my ancestors. That has helped me through this whole process. I feel responsible as a Mi'kmaq person to help Mother Nature. We look at everything, whether it is a rock or a tree, as life. When I collect my medicines, I'm offering tobacco to thank the plant for the medicine. So the plant will you know, give me medicine again the following year. It's a part of the big whole. Right now, we're standing in the middle of a boreal forest. I, I can look around, I can see uh, birch trees. You know, birch tree, for example, there's so many things you can do with that. That is the tree of life. Uh, Aboriginal people have used the bark for making canoes, uh, for making shelter, uh, for fire starting. There's a fungus that grows on birch, it's called chaga. I use that for my tea. It's a very, very good all-around tonic. Balsam fir trees, the blisters on those trees actually were uh, used to heal cuts and scrapes. You cut yourself in the woods, the first thing we'll do is put some uh, balsam fir sap on it. Society now is so fast. I think the world really needs to slow down and uh, you know just enjoy nature and the smells and the sights and sounds. Well, this is where it all started in the beginning, it was from our plants, you know, and our animals and that kind of thing. Why not go back to the beginning and, and you know, get back to our roots again? It's very important for Mi'kmaq people to embrace native tradition. You know, for many, many years, you know, we were told not to, uh, not to be Aboriginal. And I think now uh, society has embraced, you know, Aboriginal peoples, and, you know, we should embrace our history in the sense of, you know, traditional medicines and traditional foods. You know, I think it's all a, a, all a part of the culture that we've lost, so now we have an opportunity to uh, reach out and find ourselves again.